So a progress update on the laser. I've now got it to the point where it'll run by itself. That's involved a little bit of um, thinking on the fly and working out various problems as you go, but it's gone pretty good really. Um, and obviously cable management needs tidying up, but I've started cable management by using this this trunking material which holds your wires together. That's very good there. I recommend that. Um, so all we've got is a small, very small, and I think that's probably not big enough, a 2 amp power supply, which powers two stepper drivers and the reader controller. The steppers are NEMA 17s. I've got two on my Y axis, one on the X axis, as you can see down there. And that runs all the way along the X axis. It's tensioned by a rather nice system on the laser head and through a, an idler wheel, which I've made there. The Y axis is tensioned using a couple of tensioners that I've manufactured there. They work amazingly well, to be honest. I'm very impressed with those. <laughs> and the belt is attached to the axis via a piece of 40 mil tubing, which is rigid. All in all, going well, really. Um, next stage is going to be building the Z. The Z will be running on these four lead screws there with this continuous belt and a stepper, probably a NEMA 17, but I might use a NEMA 23 for the Z axis. Not sure about that at the moment. Um, yeah. I just tend to design things as I go along. I did that with the with the plasma table and the various other CNC's I've built. Hence the, the brackets. I just do what works and then tend to draw it up afterwards actually. Um, so drawings could, could be available but assuming this thing actually works. I mean, I've got a support at the back in the middle there, but not one here. That's so you can load material in through the front of the machine when the box is built around the outside. Um, still got to make the brackets up for the laser tube. They're going to hook. I'll probably have a plate on the back of the machine with them attached to it. It'd be an 80 mil diameter tube. Um, to fit it in some sort of cat cushion. Whether I buy those or make them, I'm not sure. I might as well make them, to be honest. There we go. I'll, uh, I'll power it up and you can see it moving. So there it is, powering up. Machine goes through its homing process. Already homed. The slight rattle you can hear is because I haven't got the lenses in yet and the, uh, the mirrors are rather. So I'm getting that rattling noise. <laughs> but that will go away once the mirrors are installed. And chances are that vibration noise would ease anyway be due to, as, it, as it wears in. But there, there we go, that's as it stands. This job's quite a long job. Runs for about five minutes, so I won't go all the way. Understand it there.